Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahi rahmani rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. I have written again on the board, huh, brothers and sisters, what we studied yesterday. Inshallah, you are more comfortable now than before. And after today's session, you will say that mafulun mutlaq is easy to understand. And truly speaking, it's easy. Except the, <clears throat> there are many things that we have to remember. Especially uh, when the master is, uh, is being deputized by so many different things, you know. So we have to uh, have this idea in our mind. What kind of uh, situations are there where the master is deputized by something else, huh? Inshallah, you will remember, and uh, uh, it will become part of your, uh, you know, memory. And when you will study Quran, you'll you will enjoy it, and you will be very comfortable. Inshallah. So we finish the main lesson. We come to the second. I'm leaving aside the questions. I hope you will do it at home, study the lesson a couple of times, and then answer them. And I'm quite confident that most of you are very, very capable of answering them correctly. If you have any problem, then we have Hallo Tamarin. Hmm? So 
to take uh, help from. Waradifi has a darsi amsilatan lil mafulil mutlak. Yesterday, brother and sister, we read the key and we understood everything in English. The same thing we are reading now in Arabic. So it shouldn't be difficult. Al mafulul mutlaku mastarun. What is it? It's a master. Okay. Yuthkaru, it is mentioned, bada feeling, after the verb in the sentence. Min lafzihi, from its verb. The master comes from the verb which is occurring in the sentence. For what reason? Taqidan limanahu, for emphasizing the meaning of it. Au, or bayanan. Li adadihi, uh, to indicate the number of times the action took place. Au bayanan li nawaihi, to indicate or show the type, the kind, the quality of action. Wakad <coughs> yakunu badalan, and it may be a substitute. Uh, Minat talafuzi. What is the meaning of talafuzi? Pronunciation. Be huh? So this is, you know what happens when you say shukran. Okay? You say shukran. Now shukran is a substitute for the verb which was not mentioned. Are you with me? This is the meaning of it. وَكَدْ يَكُونُ بَدَلًا مِنَ التَّلُفُّزِ مِنْ فِعْلِهِ You don't have it? Okay. I have it in my book. <laughs> okay. So what do you have? After Bayanan. Okay. So Dr. Saab has improvised this. وَكَدْ يَكُونُ نَعِبًا Unfairly, same thing, <laughs> same thing. Okay, uh, okay. So, kad yakunu naiban unfairly, and this is what I have written here, brother, sisters. Fine. Fal awalu. What is the first brother and sister? Nah. For example, wa kallam Allahu Musa takliman. Kallama yukallimu. What is the master? Takhlim. Why was takliman used to emphasize? Huh? This was pure emphasis. Huh? Pure emphasis. And what is the wasani? Darabani. Darabani waladu Darabatin. So here, Darabatin is mansu. Brothers and sisters, so it describes how many times the action took place. The boy beat me many times. He hit me many times. Huh? He hit me many hits. He hit me many hits. Huh? Okay. So what is darabatin here? It is from daraba. What is darabatin? Li bayani adat. Mafulun mutlak. Li bayani adat. Number third, brother. Wasalisu nah. Hafistul Quran. Hifzan jayjidan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here, as you can see, Hifzan is a master from Hafiza. And with that, a nath has come. So when you have a situation like that, uh, so there is emphasis there. Hafistul uh, Qur'ana hifzan. There is an emphasis there. I memorized the Qur'an with good memory, you know, excellent memory. Okay. But when you see jaidan, 
So it's so easy, brother. Whenever you see Naat or Mudaf Ilahi coming after Mafulun Mutlaq, it will refer to Libayani now. So easy, brother and sister. Another uh, sentence is there. Kara Ahmadu Darsa Kiraata Fahimin. So Kiraata is your Mafulun Mutlaq from Kara'a Yakarau Kira'atun or Kira'atan but then is it is a mudaf and fahimin is mudaf ilay. so this also will refer to mafulun mutlaq li bayani now fine brothers and sisters warabiyo mahalan which is like shukran okay sabran afwan so these are all, you know, masters, but without the mention of the verb. So what will you say? When you call lahu, it is said, al mastarun naibu an fialihi. For mahlan nab an fialihi, imhal is your amar fialu amrin. Kad yanubu anil master ma yadullu alehi. Sometimes a word may deputize for the master. This is the meaning of it, brothers and sisters. For yuta, what is the meaning of yuta? It is given. Hukmahu, it's ruling. Fi kaunihi, in making it or in becoming it, mansuban. Then it becomes that word which deputizes the master becomes mansub. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ala huh? annahu because, ala annahu means, brothers and sisters, because. Ala huh? annahu because it is mafulun mutlaq now. The thing that deputizes the master has become now mafulun mutlaq. Huh? <coughs> Min ha from them we have kullu badu wa ayu mudafatan. These are coming as mudaf elal mastari. Are you with me? Examples, brothers and sisters. Akhazani. أَخَذَنِ الْمُدِيرُ بَعْدَ الْمُوَاخَذَةِ The mudir punished me to some extent. To some extent he punished me. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters. So where is your مَفُلُنْ مُطْلَقْ بَعْدَ And where is your actual master from أَخَذَ مُوَاخَذَةِ How will you describe it? Mafulun mutlaq naibun anil master. I have written mim dot mim dot, which is mafulun mutlaq. You see, brothers and sisters? You will say, in short, I have written mim mim naibun anil master. That will be your explanation. Okay? Fine. And then next one is brothers and sisters. Arifuhu kulla marifati. So, arafa yarifu. And where is the master? Marifatun. What is marifatun? Master mimi. You got to get used to it now. What is it? Master mimi. Huh? I again. Remind you, brothers and sisters, when you have a master mimi, especially from Fel Fulasi Mujarat, then there's another master existing. Huh? And master mimi is an, another master for that verb. For example, I gave you a couple of examples yesterday, brothers and sisters. Um, <clears throat> let's take this. Arafa Yarifu. What is the master? 
Irfanun. Huh? And then you became, you, you come to Ma'rifatun. Okay. Gafara, Yagfiru, Gufranun. When you say Maghfiratun, it's your master, Mimi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. And I will give you more examples, inshallah, as we come along. Watch for Master Mimi from now onwards, brothers and sisters, in our study. Sayalamu Lazina Zalamu Ayya Munkalabin Yankalibun. Now, brothers and sisters. Ayya has come. Huh? Ayya munkalibin. So what is munkalibin? Oh, it is the master mimi. Now this is master mimi from mazid fihi. Huh? It is very simple. It is on the pattern of ism maful. Huh? It is on the pattern of ism maful. So it's so very easy. Huh? Inshallah. You will remember it. Huh? Now we come to the next one, number two, brothers and sisters, Adaduhu Nahu, for example, Zurtuhu Thalatha Ziyaratin. Three visits. So we have Zara Yazuru Ziyaratan. So here we have the Jama of Ziyaratan, which is Ziyaratin. Uh, here it is, of course, Majroor, because it is from 3 to 10. It is coming as a Madud from 3 to 10, so it is Mudafilehi, it is Majroor, and it is Jama. So, how will you describe this, brother? So, Salasa is your Mafulun Mutlaq, Naibun, Anil Mastari. Got the idea? Where is your master? Ziyaratin. Huh? Very good. Darabtuhu, I hit him. Ishrina darbatan. So darbatan is your tamiz here. But it is also the master from Daraba Yadribu. So how will you describe Ishreen? See, Ishreen is mansub here. Mafurun mutlaq, naib anil master. Huh? Inshallah, if you'll revise it one more time this evening, you should be very, very comfortable, inshallah. Sifatuhu, brothers and sisters, now comes to adjectives. Now, Sa'atuhu, I helped him. Ahsana Musa'adati. Ahsanal Musa'adati. Okay, you have a different? Gosh, my book is old. <laughs> what is the sentence? Fahim tu darsa jayizan. Okay. Gosh, I must, I must check my new book also. <laughs> I can see here. Fahim tu darsa jayizan. So, brother, what is jayizan? It, it is a it is here maful mutlaq, but actually it is fahman jayidan. So jayidan is your naat. Huh? Are you with me? What is it doing here? It's naib and master. Naib and master. Anil master. Okay. Number four. Ismul master. And you know ismul master. The word which has the same meaning as master, but with less letters. Kalamtu huh? kalaman. Now, what is Ismul master here? Kalaman. What is the actual master? Kalamtu takliman. So, brothers and sisters, what will you say? In this particular case, Ismul mastari. What will you say? Ismul mastari naibun anil master. And then I have put 
dot 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 in that dot 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 you will write the actual master are you with me when you will describe it then you will write down the actual master which should have been there but it is not there somebody else deputize it and what is that ismul master huh? ismul master ismun yadullu ala ma yadullu alayhi master walakin hurufuhu aqallu minhi but the letters are less in it huh? fatawaddu badan sisas fatawaddu what is this tawaddu master, master from from five tawadda ya tawadda okay which is a master and what is wudu it will be ism master got the idea same meaning huh? next one brothers and sisters wa takbilu which is from kabbala you kabbilu takbilu what is it master and then we have al kublatu which will be ismul master got the idea brothers and sisters inshallah number 5 what is number 5 number 5 should become our favorite now ha huh? what is it brothers and sisters cognate master ha huh? there are two kinds dr sahab has again done it in the new book at the end of the lesson we are going to go through that briefly brothers and sisters what is cognate master two kinds the verb is from mazid fihi and the master is from form 1 huh that is one then number 2 is the verb is from mazid fihi but the master is also from mazid fihi but from different bab hmm? that's it that is the meaning of al mastaru yulaqihi fil istika means they meet in the derivatives okay they are related to each other in their roots got the idea brothers and sisters inshallah wa tabattal ilayhi tabtilan brothers and sisters what is tabattal fil amar from form 5 what is the mustar of tabattal tabattulun tabassumu ha huh? fine and we have here tabtilan form 2 huh? so this is also possible okay if it is like this what will you say you will say al mastaru yulaqihi fil istikaq huh? that mastar okay meets uh, it in derivatives huh? inshallah means the roots are same different bobs huh? okay more more examples will come later on brother and sister now ismu ishara our favorite badal okay in this case the badal is the actual master but ismu ishara is deputizing it huh? aqulta hadha al qawla did you say this thing so brother you don't have it gosh i today it's not my day <laughs> what is it now okay fine huh? i should keep two books together huh? atastakbiluni hadha al istiqbal see istiqbala and istiqbal so that is your master that is proper but hadha has come so what is hadha now mafulun mutlaq huh? how will you describe it huh? mafulun mutlaq huh? naibun anil master huh? and what is after hadha badal that will be your badal huh? inshallah
Number eight, Damiruhul Aidu Ilaihi. Now here the Damir is deputizing the master. Ishtahattu Ishtihadan Lam Yashtahid Hu Rairi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, there are two mafulun mutlaq. First is ishtihadan. That is proper there. Okay? And then, lam yashtahid hu, which is actually lam yashtahid ishtihadan. So, who is coming in place of ishtihad? Means uh, master. Huh? I gave you a beautiful example yesterday. Do you remember that, brothers and sisters? What was it? Ohibullah hubban. Ohibullah hubban. La ohibbuhu ahdan. Got the idea? Ohibullah hubban. I love Allah with the love that I don't love anybody else. With that kind of a law. Huh? So then, who can also deputize a master? Inshallah. You will remember that. Huh? Remember this sentence, which is very beautiful, inshallah. Muradifuhu. What is the muradifu? Synonym. You have a master, but it is not the, the same, from the same verb. Ishtu, Asha Yaishu, Ishtu. I lived Hayatan Saidatan. I lived a happy life. But actually, if you are using Asha Yaishu, the master is Ishatan. But the meaning of Ishatan and Hayatan is the same. Huh? So it means we used a synonym for the actual master. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Yajuzu hasfu amilil mafulil mutlaki dali ala nawi wa adadi. It is permissible to drop the amil after mafulun mutlak. What is amil? Remember, we studied in lesson number one in book three agent. Which is a verb. Okay, so in other words, you are using mafulun mutlak with uh, an adjective, but you are dropping the 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 agent amel. Huh? Now remember, it can be it can come for uh, libayani now, or it can come for libayani adat. It is quite possible it will come in. Both forms. So when you say Kuduman Mubarakan, what does it mean? Kadinta. Bihani now. Kadinta Kuduman Mubarakan. So where is Kadima? Is Mahzuf. Huh? Inshallah, it's very easy, brothers and sisters. You will be able to figure out, inshallah. And number three, exercise number three. We have already done it. We did it yesterday in detail. So I'm leaving it. Uh, I will request you to do it on a f nice sheet of paper so that you have a clear-cut idea. Huh? Some of you are sc scribbling uh, notes here and there. If you get a time, do it nicely on a piece of paper huh? in your notebook, inshallah. Okay, another nice exercise, brothers and sisters. Ayyin. Ayyin al-maf'ool al-mutlaka fi ma'yati. Specify mafulun mutlak. Wazkur now ahu. And describe its kind. This is a very interesting and beautiful exercise, brothers and sisters. Ya yuhalladzina manuskurullah dhikran kathiran. Brothers and sisters, where is our mafulun mutlak? Zikran. What is kathiran? Not. How will you describe this? Al-mafulul mutlaku li bayani now. 
whenever you see an adjective or mudafilahi coming, it is li bayani now. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, I want to describe to you the analysis of this briefly, brothers and sisters. Ya, what is ya? Harfunida. If there is a harfunida, there has to be a munada. Where is munada? Ayu. What is munada? Ayu. What is this ha coming after ayu? No. This is called, what is it called, brothers and sisters? Harfu tanbi. Tanbi means drawing somebody's attention. This is a harfu tanbi, particle of drawing attention. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, ya harfu nida, ayu munada. I am just telling you briefly. Okay? We can still go in further detail, but some other time, inshallah. Ha is harfu tanbi. What is the ladina? It is a samasul. Now it can come as a nath, it can come also as a badal. Sometimes you will see in the books it is described as a badal for ayu, or sometimes it is described as a nath for ayu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, fine. So, Alladina ismu mausul. What is amanu? Amanu. Now this is. Uh, this is jumla failure. What kind of a verb is this? Form four. Amana yu'minu. Amana yu'minu. This is form four. Amana, amana, amanu. Okay. Failun madin babnun ala dhamma. 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 That's it. It is there. Zahir. Okay. And then where is the file? Wow. What is this Aleph doing here? Aleph of Vikaya. Aleph of protection. I'm sure we studied it, but you have forgotten. Aleph of Vikaya. It comes in the third person, plural. Huh? Masculine. Okay? Fine. And it can also come in Mudaria also. It can come in Amar also. But mostly with third person, masculine. Fine. Okay, what is now, brothers and sisters? So, Amanu is Jumla Felia, uh, coming as a Silatul Mausul, uh, for Allazina. Fine. What is Bada Uthkuru? Felu Amarin Mabniun Allah Adhfinu. And where is the file? Vav is the file. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And again, the Aleph has come, which is Aleph Vikaya. Uh, fine. What is Allah? Mafulun bihi. Huh? You know that. Mafulun bihi. What is zikran? Mafulun mutlaka. Zakara yathkuru zikran. And what is kasiran? Naad. Huh? So what will you say? What we are required here to write is describe the kind. So what will you say? Mafulun mutlak li bayani nawi. This is the way, inshallah. If when we get an opportunity, we will analyze some verses of the Quran, inshallah. And we may even go in detail, inshallah. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Sa'alan talibu. Translation, brother. The student asked me. Huh? What did he ask? Su'alan nahviyina. Nahviyina is a plural. Huh? It is a plural. And it is... Mudaf ilahi. It is Jamma Mudakar Salim. And it is Mudaf ilahi. How will you translate it? Brother, you will say, the student asked me a question of a grammarian. He asked me a question of a grammarian. For ajabtuhu. Fa ajabtuhu. So I answered it. What is this ajabtu? What kind of verb is this, brothers and sisters? Form 4. What is the verb? Ajaba yujibu. Ajaba yujibu. Huh? So ajabtu who and I replied. What kind of a reply I gave? Who is mafulun bihi? Ajabtu who? Who mafulun bihi? Ijabata. So what is ijabata? That is your mastar. Huh? Mafulun Mafulul Mutlaq. 
Yes, Amir? Yes, you are right. Sual is also mafulun mutla because sa'ala yas sa'ala yas alu and then sual is also mafulun mutla. That is correct. So how will you say sualan nahviyina sister Abir? Mudaf mudaf ilayhi has come. What will you say? Li bayani now. Li bayani now, remember, either it is not or it is mudafilihi. Sister Maimuna, will you remember when not comes after mafulun mutlaq or a mudafilihi comes after mafulun mutlaq, both of these situations will indicate mafulun mutlaq li bayani nawi. Please remember. Huh? Yes. Correct, you are very right. It looks like mafulun bi. But when the master comes, huh, then we call it mafulun mutla. Huh? Are you with me? Yeah. It, is, it is how the, uh, in, in, in grammatical expression it is called. But you are absolutely right. Swal looks like mafulun bihi. But here the, the scholars of grammar call it mafulun mutla. Okay, because it is coming from the same root. Got the idea, Sister Abir? Huh? It, it is coming from the same root. See, for example, Kulta Hazal Kaula. There was an exercise there. I, you don't have it, I have it in my book. Huh? Okay, Kultu Hazal Kaula. Let's go to the Quran example, brother and sister. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu attaqullaha wa qulu kawlan. So here kawlan, maybe it is mafulun bihi. Kulu kawlan. But then it is here mafulun mutlaq. So this is how the scholars of grammar describe it. Inshallah you will get a good idea after you revise few times, and you will not uh, get confused, inshallah. Huh? Where are we now, brothers and sisters? Fine. Ijabat al Mufassirina. Ijabat al Mufassirina. What is Mufassirin, brothers and sisters? Those who make commentaries. Huh? Those who do the commentaries of the Quran. Okay? Who write the commentary of the Quran. We say tafsir, which is commentary. Huh? So, what is tafsir? It's, it's a, it's a master. What is the verb? Fassara. Fassara, you, you fassiru. Make a some file? Mufassiru. Then mufassiruna. And then mufassi. Reena. Got the idea? It is ism file from form 2 and it is jama mudakar salim. So can you see here also sister Memuna? Ijabatal mufassirina. So how will you describe it? Libayani now. Libayani now. Another beautiful Quranic verse, brothers and sisters. Very beautiful Quranic verse. Wallahu. What is Wallahu, brother? What is Wa? Uh, harfuat. And what is Allahu? Muftida. Uh, where is the khabar? The jumla failure. And what is that? Anbatakum. Uh, Anbatakum min al art. Okay, brothers and sisters. Anbata is to grow. Hmm? Okay, it's form four. It's form four. And what will be the master of anbata? In batu. In batu. If alun. Are you with me? If alun. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, wallahu anbatakum min al ardi nabatan. 
So what will you call Nabatan here? It's maful or mutlaq. Huh? But it is not from the same, same verb. Huh? What is Nabatan? Nabata yan butu. Huh? Three letter verb. Nabata, write down brothers and sisters. Maybe I should write it down. Huh? Nabata Are you with me? So here, brothers and sisters, Allah, He made you, means all of us, grow from the earth. Are you with me? He made us grow from the earth. Okay? Fine. Now a khatib can speak volumes about this verse, you know, and, and describe how we grow from the earth, you know. Anyway, so what will you call it? Nabatan is mafulun. Uh, for what you will you say al mastaru yulakihi filistika. But what kind of mafulun mutlaq it is? What will you call it? Littaqid, mashallah. May Allah bless you, sister Hafza, and all of us with more knowledge. Huh? It will be littaqid. Huh? Got the idea? Littaqid. Fine. Thumma yu'idukum. What is the yu'idu? What kind of verb is this? A'ada yu'idu. Form 4. A'ada yu'idu. Then he returns you in it. Huh? Brother, this is describing our being put in the earth, which is our resting place. Okay. Wa, after that, and yukrijukum, and he takes you out. Ikhrajan. Mafulun matlaq. See? Akhraja yukriju ikhrajan. So we have. Two maful mutlaq in this verse, brothers and sisters. Nabatan, okay, and then ikhrajan. What will you say to ikhrajan? Maful mutlaq, li taqid. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? See, now, you just simply cannot translate these things. One has to know the language, and there is, a, there is a eloquence, and beauty, and sweetness, and magic in these words, brothers and sisters. Only when we understand and then we can feel it in our heart. After you have understood it, whenever you will recite it, you will understand directly. And whenever you will hear Quran being recited, you will feel it in your heart because each and every word now means something to you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, Allah will bless us with the knowledge so that we can feel the Quran in our hearts, Inshallah. Number four, brothers and sisters. Fatakuluna thurasa aklan lamman. What is the meaning of this? Brother? What is thurasa? Huh? Yes, but what is the meaning of thurasa? Inheritance. Inheritance. And brothers and sisters, somebody has left an inheritance, and there are many people who are going to share that inheritance. Uh, but what he does, he, he eats everything, he takes everything greedily. Are you with me, one sister? He takes not his own share, but everybody's shares, you know, because he's powerful. He's strong, nobody can challenge him, beat him, okay, fight with him. So, brother, ta'kuluna. Are you with me, brother and sister? Ta'kuluna, you understand? Fialun mudarion. Marfoon bi sabutinun. Where is the file? Wow. And Allah Ta'ala is addressing us. Antum. Ta'kuluna turasa. 
mafulun bihi oke badan susa aklan huh? it is the master from the same word akala yakulu aklan huh? and then lamman what is lamman this is no aklan is the uh, mafulun mutlaq okay for taqid and lamman is the not so how will you describe it libayani now libayani now huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. The meaning is that you, you eat, you devour the whole inheritance with greed. This is all for myself, nobody else. You know, even though you are only a part owner of that inheritance. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. But tohibuna, and you love. What do you love? <laughs> Wealth. How do you love? Hubban, jamman. With so much of love, absorbing love, you know. It is, you become obsessed with it. Your love is, has turned into obsession, you know. And that's the way you love your wealth. So, brothers and sisters, now you should tell me, Yohibuna, what form? Of verb is this? Form four. Ahabba yohib. Fine, brothers. What is the master of ahabba? Ehbabun. But what kind of a master is here? Hubban. This is form one. Huh? So, of course, it is mafulun mutlaq. And jamman, you gather it. Huh? You gather your wealth. You collect your wealth also with greed. Huh? Okay? And uh, uh, how will you describe it? 